Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy out there. Recently, one of my viewers has asked me to uh, demonstrate how we can use email instead of username in Django authentication. As all of you perhaps know, Django uses username for authentication, but there would be some cases when you want to use an email, isn't it? Let's activate um, the Python environment uh, for this project. Uh, in my case, it is a Django email auth. I'm going to pay freeze now. Looks like it has Django installed. Now we're going to create a project. How about project EL? Now the project has created successfully. Let's cd to that project and open on the VS Code. Let me maximize this. Oh, let me fix the environment. Probably it did not get the right environment. Um, just double checking. Let me pee freeze one more time. Uh, now I want to find out if we run migration straight away without doing anything here and there. What fields Django generates automatically in the database for us? So Python manage.py my great boom let's check the database which one is our project ah project el finding user table okay so it has created around 10 fields for us uh, let's not consider id so yeah it has created but the question is where do they come from Actually, these fields come from this user built-in user class. This class actually um, borrowed fields. It, it does not have any fields inside. Uh, what it does, it um, borrows fields from abstract user. Let me show you how abstract or what abstract user uh, looks like. Um, the abstract user actually has all these fields like username and uh, first name, last name, email, and all other regular fields. It also borrows some fields from um, abstract base user. Uh, as you can see it has password last login and is active so those are the fields actually uh, being borrowed by the uh, our user class okay so these are the fields actually user class uh, borrowed from them and now if I so yeah now we have to um, kind of customize this user class uh, because we want email not the username so let's create uh, an app inside uh, let's name it core okay successfully created and then um, let's go to the model uh, I'm gonna import some parent classes so Django contrib dot auth dot models import abstract base user I mean you can also um, borrow or subclass uh, your user class from abstract user uh, but in this scenario uh, I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna uh, rather borrow permission mixing and also uh, i'm gonna import uh, base user manager so okay um and uh, now i'm gonna create my class so that's gonna be our custom user class okay guys so class user and now i'm going to in subclass abstract base user and permissions mix in let me tell you one thing I'm gonna paste one comment here abstract base user has only three fields okay guys uh, this abstract base user has only three fields it has um, perm it has a password I think and then last login and also um, is active okay by default but we are missing some other fields so uh, we need to um, put these fields uh, on our own let's start with email so email models dot um, email I have one extra model okay let's remove that and we need to make sure that um, um, we set unique equal to true e true okay and we can uh, put some other fields like first name last name and all the things but uh, in order to save our time I'm gonna copy uh, because I already uh, kind of written down things for us and let's paste it here 
okay uh, so now you can see that I have some other fields as well um, so first time last time and other um, like address and all those fields make sure we have uh, unique equal to true uh, for email because this email is gonna be the unique identifier and is a stuff is very important this is stuff is if you don't have this uh, we're not gonna uh, be able uh, to log into the uh, Django admin and the same is true for is active so you need to have these those fields and is super user uh, is actually um, comes from this permissions mixing so we're gonna override this as well and now uh, we need to define um, the manager because every model uh, has to have a manager so uh, user class will definitely will be having user manager uh, inside and then we can um, also have some properties such as I'm gonna paste it uh, so, so uh, we have username field we will define username um, field equal to email not username anymore and then we can also uh, define our uh, required fields such as first time last name and um, mobile so uh, the manager uh, I mean user manager uh, can be named as anything uh, let's call it custom user manager um, and on the top uh, we'll create a class and that class will have to be called as uh, custom user manager because you named it custom user manager at the bottom so those names should get matched if you call it uh, my manager then on the top uh, the class we are creating now should be called as my manager so now our um, user manager uh, is going to inherit a uh, base user manager this base user manager has some methods normalize email make random password those are like helper methods guys okay get by natural key and interestingly this base user manager has a, a child uh, which is user manager and this user manager has uh, apparently a couple of uh, methods um, those are very crucial methods uh, I will uh, show you in a second but one of the most important methods is underscore create uh, underscore user it takes username guys by default okay and that's the culprit so we need to get rid of this username by our uh, email thing right? let me copy this create user uh, method because we can override it now let's paste it here we can get rid of username let's keep the email and also include first name last name and mobile number and we also like to if you want to validate your um, like if you want to validate whether the email is uh, sent from front end or not you can also do that so you can say if not email then raise value error email not be not provided and password not provided those kind of thing so you can do sort of validation over here and now the important part which is like you have to um, have the model user equal to self dot model because you need to define your user right so email equal to and now you can uh, get the help of this um, helper method uh, you remember now uh, that should be like um, self dot normalize email um, and you put the email which you got from the parameter uh, so that's the normalized email guys this normalized email is gotten from base user manager remember okay then we can also put first name I'm gonna paste it here so first name equal to first name last name equal to last name mobile equal to mobile and extra face and now you can uh, you cannot just uh, say password equal to password um, and uh, it's not gonna hash your password uh, so we do not do that there is another way of doing it uh, it is like user dot salt set password uh, and then you put the argument in and then um, yeah that's the that's the way of hashing your password and then you say user dot save uh, you can set um, using equal to self dot db and finally you can return your user and now um, the underscore under underscore create underscore user um, uh, method is going to be called by other two methods those are create user and create super user uh, those method reside inside user manager built-in user manager guys and we're gonna copy them and paste them in I think the indentation is not right I need to 
set the indentation run so these um, two methods uh, will be calling underscore create underscore user um, the indentation is right now I think so. now we can uh, watch out this create super user method um, uh, you need to uh, look for e super user uh, which is true and on the other hand uh, it is false for create user both methods will call underscore create underscore user as I said earlier and so once we are ready once we are done um, then we can um, actually uh, migrate and do the migration uh, so Python manage dot pi uh, make migrations um, it's not gonna work anyway but let me show you why it uh, why it's not gonna work uh, and then we say Python manage dot pi is migrate and it says uh, nothing happens actually it is because we haven't registered our app um, inside the settings dot pi that's our model and then we have to go to the settings dot pi and then uh, we have to register our app which is core right so core uh, we're gonna set see uh, set core and then also we will have to configure our app so it's gonna be like auth underscore user underscore uh, user underscore model equal to first the app name so that's core dot and the name of the your uh, user class in our case is user so we're gonna put user if it is my user for you just put my user now um, this core dot user uh, I mean our user class uh, is going to take over uh, contrib.admin user I mean the default user so this is taking over the previous one okay and if we run the uh, migration now it's not going to work uh, either because um, we have to kind of clear uh, the uh, delete the database and uh, clear the you know uh, pi caches because remember at the very beginning of the project we have uh, migrated the um, uh, we, we did a migration right and that migration has created some um, like uh, some pi caches so we need to get rid of uh, all these pi caches otherwise it will make conf I have cleared all the um, pi caches and I even deleted my uh, previous database so now I'm running the migration it is successful and I will uh, python manage.py migrate um, hopefully it will uh, create all the tables inside the database um, let me go to the let me uh, go to the um, let me check the database uh, okay um, user table okay it has created um, all the desired fields but especially the email uh, is taking over the username now uh, which is great and now I'm going to create the super user so Python uh, manage dot by create super user create super user and uh, I'm gonna put a fake email um, then the a fake name and a fake last name and then a fake mobile number and a genuine password and another genuine password and then finally it has created the uh, super user and uh, the best way to um, check it is to run server and find out if it has worked properly so let's do that okay uh, we think we need to go to admin panel um, great it's saying uh, it is saying email not the username anymore so let's put the um, email and uh, a genuine password and then um, now yeah it has uh, successfully logged me in but one thing though I wanna do uh, it is um, I wanna register the user inside the uh, Django admin so all I have to do is uh, bringing this user model and then site dot register dot and uh, put the parameter uh, argument as user and then when once I refresh is gonna give you the user model so here we go uh, that's the uh, our user and you can log out so uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video And if you think that I deserve a thumbs up then hit the like button and uh, Do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, take care. Tata. Bye. Bye